Listen, I don't know who you people are, but right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Tara Michael Mai. And this is my main channel where I do reviews, get ready with me, makeup, um, try on kind of things, and hauls. I made a second channel called Michael's Mind for my video diaries and vlogs and get ready. It's gonna be some really cool content coming up very soon because I am moving to Sweden to study abroad for my bachelor's in graphics and I will be or graphic design and I will be specializing in motion graphics. So I'm really excited and yeah get ready because gonna be some vlogs of their honey. <laughs> but anyways as of me Filming this video, let's see what time it is, what day. It is June 29th, Saturday. And as of that time, I have not posted a video on this channel in 13 days. So I have just been waiting for some things to come in to do some reviews. And the bag is finally in. And I was also getting caught up on my vlogs over there. So here we are. And yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, before I get started, check this out, y'all. So, my silly self was just looking for a cooler phone case for my old iPhone 11. And I love video games, anime, all that stuff. If you know me or you have follow me, definitely a fan. So, I just bought this thinking, okay, this is 20 bucks because it just really does have the look of a Game Boy, right? I did not see this in the picture when I bought it or maybe I wasn't paying attention. But, y'all, it's game so yeah so you can um, pick the sound I mean the, the well you can pick the sound you can turn the sound on off you pick the language and I'm trying to get as close as possible but y'all there's games so if somebody asked me do I got games on my phone guess what I do look I'm not gonna play it, but I'm gonna just show y'all. How talented are you? Look. Ah. <laughs> Look. Is that not insanely cool? That you can play on your phone, and there's so many games on here. Look, he come to get me. He come to get me. Look. <laughs> but I thought this was the coolest buy. So when I got it, I was pleasantly surprised. And you do this, go back to the main screen and pick your games. I was pleasantly surprised, and all you do is just charge it. The coolest. I just had to show y'all that since um, I brought up reviews. Freaking Amazon. Like, who would have thought? And it's a very sturdy case on top of that. No, it does not overheat. And I actually have a metal magnet in between this so that I can um, put my phone up to drive and get directions. So all I ended up doing is put a little piece of packing tape over that metal because it was kind of assisting in it warming up. And other than that, it does not overheat. And it is so cool. Yeah, and all the wiring and stuff is uh, protected by like this electrical like taping cover. And I just thought that was the neatest surprise buy ever. So if you are into like games and stuff, now you get my games because it's so cool. So yeah, very, very happily um, surprised with that. Anyway, in this video, finally a new color backdrop. I'm really excited about getting off of my gray backdrop that I've had forever. But I have never in my life, A, heard of She Glam makeup until I seen some reviews on the Welsh Twins channel. Super obsessed with them. I love those two. And I never purchased She Glam makeup ever. And I think on my last video, I was telling you guys too that I haven't purchased makeup in general in probably a year to be honest because I have so much stuff and I'm still going to be going through like palettes that I've had and doing little looks from one by one with a backstory but when I say I haven't been inside of the Ulta in maybe maybe a year by now I was excited to treat myself with a little bit of new makeup I'm not gonna lie and also 
the biggest reason I did it is because I was just on Cover Pop's website. I haven't been on there in a long time, trying to see what kind of stuff they had. And I went straight to the collection section and they had Naruto makeup. I seen a vlog about them having a Ruto collection from Sunday Love. Never got around to buying anything in that one yet, but still want to look. A lot of it is sold out, obviously. But I saw that they had a Harry Potter full collection, Sailor Moon full collection. So all things I'm going to put on my list. However, I'm getting ready to move. Your girl is on a budget. <laughs> and I need to save money. So a $200 full set of Harry Potter collection, just I couldn't do it. But I wanted to treat myself and ended up finding out Harry Potter collection just from Googling, try to find it for cover pop. And then something else came up, obviously similar things when you search. And she Lynn has a Harry Potter collection. And I'm just going to show y'all. Look at this. Look at that. I think that's so cool. I love, 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 love this packaging. Um, only thing I will say, just before I even get into the looks of this all, is I wish that this was a handheld mirror or a stand mirror. Because if you think for five seconds, I'm throwing this away. I'm not. But I totally wish it was a handheld mirror with that saying, have you seen this wizard? Because who wouldn't want their wanted thing? You know, their little wanted sheet. Like, who wouldn't want that? But they had a full Harry Potter collection. For a fraction of the cost. I don't know much about She Glam. I guess we can look that up at the end. But I know that I wanted to try it. So I got Harry Potter. I haven't bought a new foundation in forever. I bought a foundation from them. I saw some good reviews on it. It was their little bestseller section. It's a stick. I don't know what the color is going to look like. Guess we're going to find out. And I brought Brow Wax. So we're going to do a face with this. I just thought that I would, you know, give y'all a little, little story about how this came about. And let's get this unboxed. I don't even know what to do with this bulky thing. It's so cool. I'm very, very obsessed with this packaging, y'all. How cute. How cute. I'm never throwing this away. There's nothing you can do to make me. Then you open it, it's like a little wax paper. Okay. And it's like your little acceptance letter. If you are a powder, you know, if you were in the, into the powder world or your powder head, you already know. But this is cute. It says, oh, so, let me show it to you guys before I read it. How adorable. And I haven't done like a full on makeup review in a while. So if I'm all over the place, you got to excuse me. I'm excited. Like I, to have brand new makeup in my hand right now, I'm not going to lie, I'm geeked. Because I have been really sticking to not purchasing no new makeup. And this is from the stuff I just recently got. And I have another um, haul and review coming up. I'm not buying anything else. I'm excited though. I'm not going to lie. Because I have not been getting anything. But let's read this real quick. So... Harry Potter says, Mega fans rejoice. Transport yourself into the fame wizarding world with all new Harry Potter inspired products that will blend seamlessly into your makeup routine. Featuring four unique eyeshadow quads inspired by the four houses of Hogwarts. I am Ravenclaw, by the way. Four high shine lip glosses inspired by our most loved magical brews, a magic cauldron lip mask, and finally a glitter lipstick. This collection has everything you need for a spell binding look. And yeah. This is super cool. And I guess it just gives you a little bit about um, the palettes and everything like that. So I won't bore you with reading the whole thing, but I thought it was really cool that they set this up as like um, your letter, your acceptance letter to go into the school. So already you're just, you're getting 10 out of 10 just for the experience for me and the packaging alone so far. And we're not even into the makeup portion of it. So let me show you this big, behemoth so as you can see here you have this collection box and this is what i'm saying give this to the girlies that are working at nine to five saving up their coin give it to your everyday girlies give them that pr experience and so i want to commend she glam for doing this because typically 
Something like this is going to be for your celebrities, your huge MUAs that everybody knows, your YouTubers, TikTokers now. It's not going to be for people like me or people like, you know, those of you that are watching that are into makeup. You're going to get piece by piece by piece. So please, please, we got to give them points even for just giving us the experience that you typically wouldn't get. This is this is all day what a PR package will look like. So I just want to say that. But this is so adorable. This spins. And that little arrow that's slithering. You can pick your house with your friends. And this would be even fun too to do if you just kind of want to get an idea of what um, palette you want to start with. So that would be really cool. This one's in between, so could either do Huffle Puffle Ravenclaw. But that would be fun to kind of do like mystery look with yourself instead of, you know, if you don't want to pick something by your look, you got something new to run. That could be fun. So this is first portion of the packaging, and we're going to go through the products, of course. And then you have this component that comes out the top. And y'all, this is a review. It's probably going to be a long one with me. Um, and then you have the bottom portion of it. It comes with a brush that is in the shape of a line, which is super cute. And then you have the potions or the glosses. And what I like about this, because you know I opened it when it first came. I was geeked. I didn't even know it came. It actually arrived today. Is it has the spine of a book. And I love that. It's got the spine of a book here. And then if you open this side, it looks like the pages of a book. Like that old school gold kind of painted page, um, pages. So I, I got to give it to them. This packaging is stellar. I don't even know where to start with that. But um, yeah, you get four different glosses. You get a... This one is called a Gifted Herbologist Glitter Lipstick. And from the reviews and the, the um, information I was seeing on the She Glam website, I guess it changes color to your lips. So it's Greenhouse 3 today. Students get ready for an exciting lesson in Herbology class and look the part while repotting those mandrakes with the glitter lipstick. This lippy applies smoothly onto your lip for a glassy black. Finished with micro glitter flex, it features an ultra hydrating formula and easy to use bullet applicator for a beautiful magic plant inspired look. So, I think this one kind of changes with the temperature of your lip from what I was seeing because it looked different on each skin tone. So that's pretty cool. And then they have the magical cauldron lip mask. So something you can kind of Keep on for a little bit, of course, to hydrate those lips or wear overnight. I like to keep my lip mask on at night. Yeah, this is really cool. And I'm just super excited to try everything. And I'm going to try as much as I can on camera. And um, let's also take a look. So you open this. Also like a little folder. You get, I mean, this packaging is, they, are, they really outdid themselves. Beautiful. Look at that. I mean, the attention to detail. I'll tell you right now, this is my first time shopping with She Glam, but it's not going to be my last if this stuff is just as good as the packaging. And then you got all of the palettes. That is just so cute. Even these are like glued on. So you get the raised texture and that is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. I, oh, I'm already breaking stuff. I cannot wait to dive into this. Packaging is just crazy. I know I keep saying it. So we are going to get into that. Um, and I'm also going to... Oh, one of those fell off. I'll, I'll worry about it in a minute. I'm going to um, try some base makeup. We're just going to do a whole little full look, Okay. And then I do have something that's not um, Harry Potter, but it was really, really cute. And I wanted to see if I can do as much of a full face um, of She Glam as possible with the budget I had when I was shopping. So they also have a Rick and Morty collection. And this one is actually a blush. 
So we will try this and see what it's like. And yeah, just the packaging for this one alone and what I saw from the reviews was just crazy adorable. So I had to buy it. I also like Ricky Morty. And yeah, we're going to just get them all tried out. So I'm going to take everything out so I can just maneuver through the video a little bit better and smoothly. And I'm going to come back and we're going to start with um, base. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I got my brows on. I just did like an elf brow pencil that I got at the dollar store. Um, love this brow pencil, by the way. But we are going to do the base. We're going to do some lip mask and we're going to seal the brows, right? So let's get into it. So we have our cauldron. What's it called? Magic Cauldron Lip Mask. So let's see. Ooh, I ain't playing about this package, okay? All right, I love reading descriptions. So fast forward me if you don't like descriptions. I'm gonna just let you know each time I read them. So if you don't feel like listening to them, just go and fast forward. Okay, so as a buddy with your wizard, you'll want to bring this magic cauldron everywhere you go. Our Magic Cauldron Lip Mask features a light lavender color that applies transparent on the lips for a gloss-like sheen. Plus, the special brews ultra hydrating metal foam seed oil formula nourishes lips over time with continued use. Don't you just love magic? Yes, I do. Okay, let's check out the packaging. So cute. Let's see, come on and focus, darling. Yes, super cute. Also reminds me of a honey pot. And then it comes with this little scoop so that you can put it on. It smells really nice. It smells like chamomile tea to me. It smells really good. And this nice little lavenderish purple moment. So, a little scoop here. I'm gonna be the only one that's using this, so I'm gonna go ahead and double dip in there. doesn't taste like anything. Oh, it smells so good even when you put it on. It's literally like a nice hot cup of tea. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It doesn't feel waxy either. Okay. Got that on there. I like that formula. Lip masks can be hard sometimes. Sometimes they're really, really waxy. Sometimes they don't do anything and you slather them on everywhere, you know, but this is lightweight. I can definitely do these, this oil smell. And it's, it feels almost like a lip oil with some thickness to it. It's nice, it's nice on the lips. I've been drinking a lot more water. I know you guys watched my last video, my Get Ready With Me vlog if you haven't, but I've completely changed my skincare over because of all the breakouts I've been having. And as you can see, I'm still getting a little, um, and that's okay, but nothing like it's been. And right now my skin's kind of purging itself, so it can get clear. But I've been drinking a lot more water, so these lips ain't looking all crusty. At all, so that's a good sign. Okay, now let's move on to the She Glam Brow Weight Rate Waving. <laughs> Brow raising wax stick, okay. Mm. And then it was going to read what side you use first. All right, fast forward, here comes the description. The She Gum Brow Raising Wax Stick features a double ended brow, eyebrow brush, and brow wax, and four tinted shades in universal color that grooms, shapes, feels, and sets the brows for natural looking dimension. All right, it's nice. So when I bought this, excuse me, I didn't know that this came in colors. I thought it was all clear. So maybe next time I shop on She Glam, if I really like this stuff, I would try some colors. But I like this packaging. It's really like smooth. I like that it's like a nice off white. It's really pretty. Okay. And the oh, look, they got little indicators. That's cute. Come on. And can you see it? That is cute. Brush wax. I like those little indicators. Super cute. All right, let's see. I smell everything, so don't mind me if you see me sniffing. 
this product. The only thing about this, and I mean beggars can't be choosers, is when you got your brow done, I wonder does it move the product, let's see. But then also, maybe that's why they made tinted, because you might be wanting to put the tinted on so that you don't put any kind of brow pencil shade in there. You just want to brush it up, right? I'm going to leave a little bit on my hand so and see how it feels, just letting it dry. It's definitely sticky. Oh, yeah. The more you work with it, the more you can feel it. Listen, it said I'm gonna take some strays with me, girl. I'm be taking my brows, it's not like I got a lot. The brush is cute, it looks like a little barbie comb. And let's try this. I'm brushing in the shape I think I want them to be, or the direction. It'd be easy on my brows, I don't have a ton. Did take a little tiny bit off right here. But let's see if we can brush that over and we can. I do also enjoy how it's helping me work my brow pencil through my eyebrows as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just ignore that let it sit, put the tops back on, and see if it's got a nice little stick and stay appeal while I work with the foundation. But because I don't have um, any concealer from She Glam, I'm just going to use these old Maracuja Creaseless Concealers by Tarte. And word on the street is there's some new ones, but I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Let's try this out. She Glam, what's the name of this? Skin Magnet High Coverage Foundation Stick. So let's see. Let's see what they say. Okay, um, description. If you're looking for a portable and easy to use foundation, you've come to the right place. Our She Glam Skin Magnet High Coverage Foundation Stick <sighs> adheres to your skin with magnet-like strength and locks in your look. Featuring a technology-driven formula, our foundation stick provides a stunning, natural, skin-like finish that won't pick up. Plus, this unique formula is made up of various oils with branched chain structures. I have no idea what that means. Providing a breathable and light texture that doesn't melt off your skin. And in case you need to get ready on the go, it's portable combat twist to reveal packaging makes it the ultimate travel makeup companion, honey. So let's see. Cute little bag with a little sash, okay? And here is the packaging. Very cute, got some weight to it too. Very cute. All right, she glam. I can't wait to the end to see where you derived from because I have never, never heard of them. But I'm also someone that's never in my life shopped on like Shein or anything, so. Hmm. Okay, so. It is like a magnet clasp kind of top. I got the color acorn just cause a few colors down from it. I didn't know that it would fit my skin. I haven't got my summer tan in yet. So we'll see, we'll see if this fits. Ooh, that's a little bright, ain't it? But I mean, that's the name of the game with this video. I don't even know that it's more so that is bright. I mean, it's definitely not a true match. I want to say what it is. It needs a little bit more olive, right? 
a little bit more of an um, olive tone to it for my skin because my skin is it's neutral but it still is like tan medium tan it has warmth to it you know and it I definitely have um, an olive undertone more so than I do a neutral so I'm gonna blend it in and see this feels weird because I haven't had makeup on my face in a minute since I'm um, going through my acne stuff I've been kind of chilling out but I think I'm okay to have a little fun again how the heck okay oh let me not break this top oh. <laughs> I'm slow okay I'm going to start with the more flat brush and then kind of buff it in We need a little bit of color up in here, but <laughs> it's not a horrible match, but as you can see, I'm in all this white balance, natural lighting. <laughs> I might need to add a little something in the end to give it some, some color, honey, you know what I mean? But that is, y'all, that's nice. I ain't gonna lie. That is nice. That's pretty darn nice. I'm not gonna hold you up. I think for the sake of this video, we're gonna just keep going and then maybe when I do the um, shadows after, maybe I add a little bit more definition to my skin, but I'm gonna stick to it. I should have some little stuff here. It's not gonna be She Glam because I didn't think to buy anything for that, but I got some stuff here we can use to warm it up some. So. I'm just gonna put some eyeshadow primer on. Got my eyeshadow on, so I think I'm gonna do one eye with one palette, one eye with the other palette, or I'll try to find a way to integrate them, like two on each side, we'll see what I can fit. But let's go. Let's see. All oh, these are cute. Okay, I'm picking up Half a Puff. This is very cute packaging. Like, I ah, just, very good job. Very good job. I, I just have to continue to say that. And they are little quads. And this is what they look like. Very cute. And the colors are trustworthy hard work, humility, and patience. And I love that they have their mascot's little emblem emblem in there. And that's, uh, it's almost so cute, I don't even want to destroy it. But let's try to do a look. You know what, I'm even down to like wipe an eye and do two at a time so you guys can really, really see everything, to be honest. So let's, 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 if we're gonna do a review, let's do a review, you know what I mean? So let's go for it. Um, where's that brush? Because it feels real heavy, honey, and I love that. They say we're not playing with y'all, and we're going to give the girls what they're asking for. This is so cute. So freaking cute. Literally, it's so weighted, too. Like, one guardian leviosa on y'all, okay? So let's start with this eye is going to be Hufflepuff right here, Okay. Hufflepuff, and then the other side is going to be Ravenclaw. So let's take, we're just gonna take hard work here, dip all into that. So, powdery, I will say that, some fallout going, but I ain't tripping. This is very pretty. I actually quite like that color. 
It's like butterscotch and it is soft to blend, I will say. Wow, you curd. That ain't hard to move around at all. Listen, I don't know who you people are, but right now y'all doing your thing, okay? No idea who you are yet, but I will be finding out. All right, I, shoot, y'all might as well go ahead since the collection is still out. Go on ahead and make a bunch of these wands and do a whole brush set. I'm sure somebody has one out there, but go ahead and do that, okay? I'm going to take, I need a flatter brush actually. I need a packing brush. And I'm taking Patience. Patience is that brown color. Right here, come on, focus that one. Right there, Patience. And I am going to work that into the outer. I think what I'll do to you guys is use like caption area to let you know the section of video we're in. So if you do want to skip or you're not interested in this and that, at least you know where to be. I know that um, YouTube is supposed to do that, but I will still do it online so you can see what's going on. So just a little of this of patience. Notice I'm not setting any of my foundation or anything yet because I do think I'm just going to wipe the eyes so that you guys can see the other two palettes. I really want you to experience all the color. And not this staying in place and really feeling nice on my skin, this, this lip mask on my, my lips. I do wish that, one thing I can say is that this is not a patchy formula, but that makes me happy. I wish that this brown was a little bit more strong on pigment because one thing it's giving is a little bit muddy, I'm not gonna lie. Which means the more I blend, the muddier it's gonna get already. And see, that was almost like I erased it just with taking hard work and blending it out more. So let me pack it on some more and see what we can get. Let me just pack it, let me stamp it almost. I'm going to sadly dip into humility because I don't want to mess up this cute wolf werewolf. But it's just, I have to because I have to try to help me. They really did their thing though on this packaging, man. I don't know what. Whoever was in charge of this, y'all need to give them a raise if y'all haven't already. And continue to let them do your collections. And same thing here. Not super strong on pigment, but that hard work shade, very pretty. I would wear that all over with a fleck of glitter by itself, to be honest with you, and that'd be the look. That's a very pretty shade. Okay. Not me trying to work around the wolf so I don't um, mess it up because he's really adorable. Let's see. Yeah, I want them to have more color, like pigment in them, but what can you say, you know? Gotta do an honest review, which is really making me at some point want to still get the ColourPop one just to compare and contrast. Just, I've seen the ColourPop collection Harry Potter um, design, and I will say, Hands down, this one's more true to Harry Potter, the movie, the books, the lore. Uh, when it comes to packaging, like they, they kick their butt packaging. This is the kind of packaging I want to see for Harry Potter. And this is coming from an anime girl. It's very like cartoonish for ColourPop. And I don't know if it's because they didn't, they had to get some kind of rights to do it, but it's just not given what this is given for packaging. And I'm gonna keep it real. All right, so. See it? A little Pashiana, okay? But cute nonetheless. And I'm gonna go in. 
Just because she's just not a quitter. She just doesn't have time to be out here giving up. We're going to do it again real quick, real quick. And now we're going to give the girls some glitter and trustworthy right here. I'm just going to take my finger, nothing on it. And let's see. Pretty. Let's see how it... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. This is, see, this is a scenario where you can just sprinkle this all over the lid and blend it out with uh, that hard work shade. And you got yourself a cute little simple look that you can hurry up and do and get out the door too. This foundation is pretty. I got an attitude. I need a darker shade, a little bit, a little bit more olivey. I would say undertone for sure. But um, the formula, like I'm looking in this mirror below me that has more of the amb ambient light coming through. It's a moment, honey. It is a moment. Now that glitter is pretty. That is really nice. Okay. So, hard work. That shade, 10 out of 10. Trustworthy, 10 out of 10 for me. Patience and humility. It just took a lot of work to build it up. The colors are really pretty. So I don't want to take away from that. It's just a build up for them for me on my lid. I'm going to give them a six, six and a half out of 10 for this. And we're going to move on to the next palette and that's going to be Ravenclaw which is the house that I was placed in so here we go Ravenclaw super pretty and I think it's nice because they have a look for every like eye color for the most part in here from what I'm seeing so far and this one we get two glitter looks so maybe with this we do a little halo moment very very pretty you got wisdom curiosity wit and creativity very very adorable all right so if i'm gonna do a halo lid let me pull out my little gadget you're gonna go into your girl wisdom Whew. wisdom is definitely giving um muted gray <laughs> Ooh. which not every skin tone is going to be able to wear this shade so I would say if you just want a few collections and you want a few pieces from a collection and stuff like that, then go and look at the palettes individually for sure and see which palette was gonna, is going to look good with your skin tone and, you know, eye color if you want to do that as well, which for me, have fun, with it, no matter eye color, but skin tone is something we got to pay attention to for sure, right? Okay, so that's what I'm saying. These little pressed pigments with like nothing, like the like transition shades as we used to call them um, in the good 2014, 15s era. I don't know if they still call them that. They're really nice and easy to use. They look creamy, super creamy. I can't complain. Okay, let's do Halo Eye little inner corner glitter let's do that so that we can truly truly test all four because it wouldn't make sense to have all of those on here so i'm dipping into creativity here and let's do some some work on with this thing though now see this one's giving more Pigment. Could it have been the brush? Because I have a different brush for this. Just building this up a little bit more on the lid before I move on. 
on. I'm gonna hang the lines under as well, but I am going to finish packing this on top first. Okay, now let's get a smaller brush. This will really like test, is it the brush? Because this did pack on better than the other side. Okay. That's pretty though. Like it is a pretty little look for sure. That might be cute with some liner. Okay. Take some of creativity. It's a gorgeous midnight blue, I'll have to say. All right, so now I am going to take wit, this little sparkly blue number, and I'm going to just take my finger again and pop it in the middle. That's very, very, very pretty. I'm glad I'm not setting this foundation too, so you can see if it's going to like fall apart or crack. And so far, it's not. It's really I like how it, the light bounces off of it. It's giving you some glow too. So I don't know. This this um stick is is kind of fire. That is gorgeous. Obsessed. That's really pretty. And I like how packed and micro this glitter is because it's really like filling in those spots for me and giving what I want a glitter eye to give. Like, I really like that. I'm gonna take the same brush though, this tinier one, and I'm gonna have to go in with that at the bottom. and you'll see here, this is why typically I do my eyes first, but again, we're reviewing everything in this collection. So this shall be a long video. Oof. Not this eye given, this is nice. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of wisdom that, that grayish kind of taupe moment and just blend. Use it like my little broom. But see how, okay, that's a pet peeve, but you see how it's taking you off when I'm just trying to blend? I don't want it to take that glue off. I just want it to smooth it over and now I have to go back and more of that color. I just wanted to clean it up for me. So like how I cleaned it up underneath, I wanted to do the same thing on the top. So it did not though, so I'm just gonna go back in and place a little bit more of that midnight blue. Then see if I can get a better blend out. Alright, let me just put nothing else on. And I hear a cute kitty high potion. This is a little off, but not as much. Okay. I like that, I like that glitter. So pretty. Now I'm taking Curiosity, white glitter, and I'm just gonna pop that in the corner of it. Come on. Come on, honey. There we go. And I'm gonna pop that here. I 
on like these colors like and I have a mirror here I'm looking like oh it's like two different looks for two different moments but um this blue is really pretty so we have Hufflepuff on this side Ravenclaw on this side um these are very pretty. I actually just had to stop to go to the restroom. And so I was just in natural ambient lighting and not like studio lights. And oh, the foundation is still giving. And both of these just are doing it for me. I'm not going to lie. They're really pretty colors. So I'm satisfied with these two palettes so far. Very, very pretty. Um, I'm noticing too. There's not a lot of glitter fallout, which is very typical for glitter, as you know. And I'm noticing there is not much of that. So, super nice. I'm going to reset these eyes, put on some more primer, and then we're going to get into the next two palettes. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and my face is reset. Primer is on. I actually didn't need to put any concealer back on or foundation. And it was very easy to come off and comfortable. That's a good sign for me. Love something that looks great on that it can come off just as well. So we are getting ready to move on to the Slytherin. I just have to say, this is probably my favorite palette color because I love the color green and I just think this looks really gorgeous. So had to point that out. And then you have um, our quad here. I love that they all open up and say, it's just things that they didn't have to add, they added. That's what I'm liking about this uh, collection and this packaging. Just little details. They could have said, no big deal. It's on the front. I'm not tripping. No, they went above and beyond. So very, very happy about that. Once again, we have two um, glitters and we have a nice little transition shade. And we finally have some black. So here we go. We have Destiny, Leadership ambition and cunning and then you see you got the little snake emblem there imprinted in it so i want to see what kind of look i want to do with this maybe we do a little powder eyeshadow liner that might be fun and do some glitter moments let's do it let's do a full on glitter liner moment shall we all right so i'm gonna take my little blend brush here and take my little wand and I'm going to go in with leadership, our transition shade. And this time, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, pygmy. Wait, I that's like a nice little camouflage color, honestly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my base and my crease. Should I say I'm going to create my crease here? Wow, I actually really like that eyeshadow color. I didn't expect it to look like that. I actually really like that eyeshadow color. So I'm gonna softly blend that out. I'm gonna take this brush that has nothing on it. And I'm gonna take this same brush here and I'm actually gonna pack that all over the lid before I do anything. is very much giving like camouflage and it matches my little two-piece set here. Compliments of my sister, a cute little hand-me-down moment or whatever. I love getting like stuff that people, like when it comes to clothes and outfits that they loved on and when they hand it down, I like to make them my own and it's really nice. I'm one of those people, I'm a, I love a good reuse, repurpose, thrift moment. Not this little Muddy Waters Desert Sand Eyeshadow Giving. I actually really like this color. I really like this color. And I didn't expect to. I was like, okay, I'm going to use it because it's here and we're reviewing. I like this. I would literally, if I was just looking for something just color, very sultry moment, I would do this all over with some pretty thin eyeliner, a gloss, or whatever little lip I was going to do and be on my way. This is 
very, very pretty. Very pretty. And this one, creamy as well. So I'm wondering do these like pressed pigments with nothing like do the more like neutral shades have a different formula than the like pop of color shades? I got to. Because this is just, it's sitting well and it's not patchy and not an ounce is falling out. Nothing. I don't know, man. Maybe I have just been hiding myself from the goodness of these these indie brands that I hadn't had the chance to check out because your girl is on a budget. But um, this is going in a completely different direction than I thought. This review. And it's in a great direction. All right. I am dipping into Destiny. And I am going to, just like I said, do a little liner on the outside here. Might not be the brush I should use, but it's the one I'm going with. Okay, I actually like the charcoal hue for this liner. I like the softness of it. Um, what I would do if I was doing this look to go out somewhere is I would take a little bit of concealer and clean it up. And I do mean just a little bit. Like where I'm just gonna take it off like the neck of this concealer and just get it clean. And like normal doing makeup day, nothing will be on. Um, usually it would just be eyes first and some brow. But I'm gonna clean that. Shave a little bit off the top, give it a little sharpness. Like so, this fallout is definitely being our friend and not giving us right poop eyes either. And um, I ain't mad at it. I can even go in like this and just clean it up a bit. And it's not giving black eye and I'm here for it. So very pretty, like I said, I can really Fi was just doing some simple, like I said, she's doing the sultry girl, maybe the, the glitz and glam as an outfit. Do my eye just like this, maybe a pop of glitter in the glitter, um, in the inner corner or the lid, and be on my way. That's really cute and subtle. Love it, really, really do. And now I'm gonna take Cunning, the green, and I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pop some of that on here. I'm going to take my tiny brush I had earlier to give myself a corner glitter with Ambition, which is very disco silver, and I'm here for it. Super here for it. That's pretty. It's just, it's, it's really giving right now. We're on to the last palette. This is going to be a long review, I know it. I'm not even going to pretend to gasp when it's time for me to edit this. I know this is gonna be a long video because we're doing an entire collection. But Gryffindor, most people's favorite because of the OG Harry Potter and the clan. They love this one. This packaging is gorgeous too. It looks like a tiny little um, yearbook. <laughs> And I'm here for it. I wonder, do they have Harry Potter themed passports? I bet you they do. Like passport covers. 
because I need a new passport cover because I want a really cute one because why not? So here we are. I don't know where the little protective film went. I had it earlier. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, yes, it is. Found it. Okay. So here, this palette is pretty. Really like that. All right, we got us some gold glitz. So what are we doing? We have daring, bravery, determination, and courage. Those are our shade names in this quad. And I'm just looking to see exactly what I want to do in this one. Hmm. What kind of look do I want to do to get this whole little moment? Because I could do it all over red. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's just go for it, right? Listen, these palettes are a pop. A lot of times collections, sometimes they just will throw stuff together to just make it hold and they'll have some like strong pieces. But this is really giving. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's giving what is given. Let's do daring and crease. Just so our starting point for some point for some blending. The wax is subtle. I'm gonna come back and say that. I guess you may want to do a few layers if you type of person that wants your brows glued down. This would totally be a, a layering kind. I've got brow gel that holds a little bit stronger, and this is kind of pushing some of that brow down, but I'm not tripping. Like if I was going out, I would fix this brow before I left. And that's with the wax in it, so. Okay. Again, a really, really nice transition shade. All right, I'm gonna dip into Determination. Give it a little tap, tap, tap. -a. Do we want to give like, we want to give the girls a nice high up. Little flick. Let's do it. Let's bring it out there. Let's give it, right? Um, this red is going on quite well. So I'm gonna give this a bit of a raise past the tail of my brow. My potion. Really leave her alone. One tabby is like very jealous of the other tabby, and she just she just acts so crazy sometimes. I know I look crazy. I'm gonna fix it, <laughs> but I just want to lift it up there. And I'm not feeling like I need a ton of layers uh, for this red pigment. So not bad. So just let that annoy you for a minute. It's not gonna stay like that. Let it annoy you for a minute. I mean, if you're like me and you have very like OCD finishing product issues, it's going to annoy you. <laughs> and I hear you when you're seeing, <laughs> but let it annoy you for a minute. We're gonna clean it up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into Courage here. This nice little milk chocolate color and it has some hints of um, like gold flecks. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty. Oh, I love that. Very like autumn. Okay, I like it. And this this palette, like it might have just been the brush that uh, linen brush that I used for the first palette because these are all going on really smooth and I can't imagine that every single palette is a completely different formula. So I'm gonna say user error on that and give that back its numbers from the beginning and a 10 because this is all just easy on now. Really is. But this is creamy. 
and this more of a stiff powder formula is kind of giving me um like how chanel's formulas are but it has a little bit more like creaminess to it but it still is more of a stiffer um formula and i like it i'm able to blend it i'm able to build it And then I'm going to take Bravery, our golden girl here, and I'm just going to pop it in the corner and kind of fan it out towards the center of the lid a little bit, or the beginning of the lid, should I say. I like this little pressed glitter formula. There's enough left to fix this without adding any concealer. And give her a bit of a facelift, you feel me? So now you got a little more on this side. She's a look. She's a look. So I did a little more of a drama for these. And these are the palettes. So you got. <laughs> Can't get my life together. Hold on. You got Slytherin on this side. And you have Gryffindor on this side. And you hear me talking you through it. And I am quite impressed with these palettes and the colors and the formula and I don't really know what else to tell y'all that's the entire palette set and I'm gonna go ahead and just give this girl what she deserves which is why am I spinning as good okay a 10 out of 10 and I'm just gonna go ahead look at ended on the last one we did I'm gonna give the Hogwarts She Glam collaboration palette part a 10 out of 10. It is good. It is great. It is fun. It is very reminiscent of the movie and the books. And I think that it is just, if you are a makeup collector um, or a Hogwarts or a Harry Potter Wizarding World, I think this is a really nice addition to add to it. This will be a really good gift to give as well for your makeup loving um, people in your life. Love it, love it, love it. I'm definitely just going to Go ahead and give that as flowers right now um, before we move on to the glosses because we have more. This She Glam Foundation, like I said, maybe something with a bit more olive in it. Even looking at my neck, it's not even that it's like super mismatched at all. It's not. It's just we can use a little bit more warmth with um, a bit more green in the formula, something more olive -y. But it's a really nice foundation. Like... And that's what you want your foundation to do. If you're outside with natural sunlight, when it hit, you want that glow. You don't want it to look wet and greasy. You want it to look wet and glowy. And this is doing that. And it's nice. And it doesn't feel heavy. I haven't wanted to scratch my face off yet. So I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Now I see why it was in their bestseller, bestseller sections. And um, I think this foundation was like 8 or $10. I have to go on there. It wasn't a lot of money at all. So... 10 out of 10 for that as well. The brow um, wax, not a huge fan. I actually like the, um, there is one by Benefit Brow that I enjoy. There is, um, Got To Be has a brow gel actually too, and I like it actually quite like it. And then there is a e.l.f. one that I have recently used, and that one's really nice. I think this packaging, just the texture, I really love the packaging and I like the brush. I think the brown gel is just good to keep it in place a little bit. Um, but if it's a hot, sweaty day, I don't see this holding your brow in place and I am a sweater. And it did take a bit of my 
eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, but my brow pencil off. So it might be a pain to someone to have to go back in here and touch this up, right? When your wax is really just supposed to be sealing the deal for your brows and everything. But um, I can't really mark it down too much because I haven't tried the tinted one and that might be the answer to what I um, am looking for. So let's move on to the glosses. Okay, so showed you guys the packaging earlier and it's called the Silver Science and Exact Art Classes Bewitching Bruise Lip Gloss Set. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Very gorgeous, very pretty. I'm into it, right? And I love the tassels. I love the attention to detail. Like it's really nothing I can say, but just knocking it right out the park with the packaging. Again, the attention to detail in the, the fan lore. Like I just think they really killed it with that. So these are all named after and designed after their popular um, potions that are the most memorable potions in the series. So let's get into it. I'm going to be doing some um, description reading. So if you need to skip past that part, you'll just notice me looking off to the side again if I'm reading it and you can fast forward that over. So I'm going to start with the one that's first in line. And this is Felix Felicis. Super cute. And the description to this one is, although you're not, you might not be able to assume the form of another person, our Polly Just Potion inspired sparkling lip gloss as a perfect dash of glitter to your glam. Contained with millet seed extract, this gloss moisturizes your lips with every use. So, let's take a look. We got the color. I love that it's like, just feels like a vial. Like, I feel like a student touching this. Like, it's just nice. And they have a very interesting applicator. It's like plastic, kind of like, or silicone, I want to say, like flat dipper. So let's try it. I really like that. This smells like an Arnold Palmer. If you don't know what an Arnold Palmer is, it is iced tea and lemonade mixed together. <sighs> that smells really good. <laughs> that smells really nice. All right, she glam, I'm sick of you already. Just stop it, like just, this is good. Should I do a little light on the lips, um, like my phone light? I mean, in true fashion, let me see if it does it. Hey Siri, Lumos. Lumos? It's on now. <laughs> ah, had to do it. So let's see. Ooh, yes, you can see the gold flex. Nice. I love when you have a glitter gloss and it's not just an illusion. You can actually enjoy the nice little sporadic pieces of glitter in it. And I can see it in the mirror. I can see it on myself. Um, and then putting that light on it, I like that. Because say if you're out somewhere and you got some lights and stuff, it's nice that you'll be able to see that glitter on there. And this smell is just to die for. I really like that color a lot. So I'm going to wipe this off and we're going to move on to the next shade. And I read Polly Juice Potion's description. That other one's description <laughs> did not match it. But I'm going to read it real quick before I move on to Polly Juice Potion. Everything you attempt will be deemed successful with our sparkling Felix Felicis gloss on your lips. The gloss is specially brewed with thyme extract to nourish your lips with a spell binding shine. So... The one that I said felt, smells very like herbal and Arnold Palmerty. That was the first one. This one is probably just potion. No need to read the description. Um, gorgeous little green gloss. And yeah, let's try it. Hmm. 
Oh, this is minty. Alright, so I have this gloss on. I'm almost wishing it was a little more like on that glossy green sky that it shows and the vial, but I love the minty smell. You can feel a little bit of the minty, like whatever is in here is giving a very minty experience, but it's not uncomfortable, it's refreshing. And um, yeah, I feel like two didn't kind of glide on like the first one, but it is nice. So let's try again with lighting. So, hey Siri, Lumos. It's on now. Okay. So even with this, I wish a little bit more of that fun green sparkle was visible, but it is a good gloss. You can see that there is some sparkle and that is pretty i just wish that it was a little bit more green that's all but it feels good the smell is amazing if you're a person that wants a little bit of a plump i feel like and they're not saying that there's any plumping anything in here but this minty feel is, is naturally going to irritate your lips a little bit i feel like you can get some plump out of it i can even see my top lip a little bit you see like popping out. I think this would be a good one for you for sure. And I already have a deep cupid's bow, but I can feel a little bit of that rising up with this gloss. I think this is a nice subtle, like if you want a nice hydrating, it doesn't feel sticky either gloss in barely any color, but some sparkle, this would be a nice one to pick up and put in your crossbody bag or makeup bag, whatever. And let's move on to a Mortensia. And let me read the right description. Okay, caution. This gloss will cause a powerful infatuation or even obsession for anyone who wears it. Inspired by the Amortensia Pulsion, this high shine gloss features, I think it's the salis fruit ash extract for an especially nourishing fruit. Okay, so this one's supposed to be our nice juicy girl. She's supposed to give us the hydration. This little color is very cute. It almost looks neon when I'm looking at it in my ring light and that's really cool. And I do like these applicators. These are nice. I don't think I've ever tried an applicator like this in my life. I'm trying to get my finger on what this smells like. The um, aroma is not as like pleasantly strong as the other ones, but it does have a smell. It's like a, I can't figure out what plant it is and I'm smelling. It's fruit abstract, but I'm not smelling fruit, but there's definitely something in there that I'm I can't, I can't put my finger on it right now. This one also has a nice cooling feel to it. Um, it does feel very watery and hydrating. I like it. It's a little bit more of a, a liquidier formula than um, the Poly Juice Potion and the Felix Felicis. Um, and I like it. I like this little soft pink tint that it has to it. This one does not have any sparkle in it, so I'm not gonna do the light but I do enjoy this color a lot. I think it's a very pretty tint and hit of color. And I think it's pretty close to my actual lip shade. So, um, yeah. Yes, this is a very good, very good gloss. I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna wipe again. And then for the next, last of this collection's um, gloss catalog, we do have another product one more product for this left is the Drought of Living Death. And this is another one that does not have glitter in it. It's just a really pretty lavender hue. And let's read the, the description for this one. Inspired by the Drought of Living, the Drought of Living Death 
This high shine lip gloss is simple but powerful, contained with lavender extract. Our Drop of Living Death gloss features a sweet floral aroma and a soothing formula for a bewitching glassy pout. Okay, so yes, as we know, lavender can be very soothing, calming on the skin and also around you to go to sleep. So let's see. Um, I love lavender personally. I love the smell of it too. And yep, that is that smell that I'm used to. Very pretty floral. Very nice. Almost this. I wish this was a perfume. Okay, this smells great. <laughs> it's pretty. It is nice. Okay, I just. That's how I feel. I really like this gloss. Um, yeah, glass on the lips, and it's not even a clear gloss, and it's giving that. Oh, I like it. I am curious to see. I can already see the like lavender color. But I'm curious to see if we can see it any more with more light. Let's see. Hey Siri, Lumos. It's a Yeah, you can. You can see that nice light, light lavender tint. Okay. Fire. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Like, dude, this is, this is a good collection. We have one more um, piece to try from this and then just one more She Glam product. And we can wrap this thing up and take it home, you feel me? But this is totally, again, gonna be a long one. So let me take this off and put our next lip product on. All right, so our final product of the entire Harry Potter and Hogwarts X She Glam collection is going to be the Gifted Herbologist Glitter Lipstick. And this is cute because it has one of the mandrakes on the front. And yeah, that was glossy because it's gloss all over this container. But this is the packaging for that. Very cute. And let's open her up. Absolutely obsessed with this packaging. Way to go. Way to go, She Glam. I love the little uh, prints on it of the vines and plants and mandrakes. Very adorbs and green again is my favorite color, so I'm very obsessed with this packaging. So we're gonna open the container, and when we do, we reveal, as they stated, a black lipstick. However, it does have this beautiful emerald green glitter on it, and yes, let's give it a go. Doesn't smell like anything. You can feel the texture of the glitter, and let's try it. I can see too why they are saying it's black. First I was like, I mean, it's not necessarily black. I see why you'd say it because the actual stick is, but looking at it on my lips, it is it is black, like the color black, but it's not stained black, if that makes sense. I don't know that I would consider this a lipstick. Maybe a little, like, on? But it's really soft. It goes on really soft and smooth. And I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of seconds just to see because when I was looking at some of the pictures, each person, of course, it looked completely different on, which I love. But let's see. I like the um little specks and hints of the green. The green glitter has got more in this one that it did in that uh, poly juice potion and I like it but all right let's do okay Siri Lumos sorry I don't understand you've been understanding this entire time okay Siri hmm? Lumos it's on now pray Nice, and you see what I mean? You can see that it's darker. 
you see where it's supposed to be black in little spots. That would probably be my um pet peeve with this. Is just it's just not it's patchy black, you know. But I do like this. Again, I wouldn't say this is a lipstick. It's like a nice lip cream, and I do enjoy it. And I would probably rock it more so with a warm tone over the cool. I mean, unless I'm going for like muted grunge or whatever, which we we love that for us too. But it's nice. Um, am I super like obsessed with it? No, but it's nice and soft. I like that I could wear it. I could wear it over top of something or I can wear it by itself and it has a little fun illusion to it. Um, that one I'm going to do like a 7 out of 10. But um, in general, this collection is it. I love it. I think if you are a collection purchaser and you see all these Harry Potter collections, especially the ColourPop one, which is very popular. Like I said, I still do want. I would go if it's still available. Get this She Glam one. It's I am pleasantly surprised. I like it for this to be my first experience shopping with them. It is great because as you know, it can make or break you when you shop for a company you've never shot before. And um, very, very good. Very, very good. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. And finally, for my last She Glam product um, of this review, I am just going to show you guys the Rick and Morty. This is... Um, a blush. Again, they have a full collection. If you are a huge Rick and Morty fan, I will get my hands on it. Um, I kind of still want it just because it's cool. Um, but yes, packaging for this is outstanding as well. Down to the inside, fully, fully covered. Love that. And it's just great. Now, <laughs> how cute is this? How freaking cute is this? I love that. Even the back, they didn't skimp on it. The back is this little ball <laughs> and everything. Wow. But this is a blush and it's just called Mr. S Mr. Sanchez. Very, you know, very fitting. And um, you open it up. I mean, like other blushes, obviously. But what's cool about this one is when you open it up, it reveals Mr. Sanchez's brain. <laughs> and that is so cute. I almost don't want to use it because I want to keep the print of the brain on there. That is adorable. I really, really think that is just super cool that they did that. And I am hating the fact that I'm going to put this on and ruin a pattern. So I'm just going to dot it and see what this color looks like. And also just test their blush formula in general. Now, I love blush, so for me, I would want this to be a little bit more pigment pigmented. It's a very light formula. Also, I know that it's just a collection, but I think too, just for different people to be able to try it, especially if you are a blush lover and blush is just back being really popular, I might have done a few shades with this and maybe even multiple characters um, with this packaging. But um, it's very creamy, easy to blend. But I, like I said, I think that the formula needs building. It's very like soft and blush tends to go away first on your skin. So I want mine built up to a point where it's, it's slowly going away on me, you know? So I'm gonna put a little bit more on uh, and I'm just gonna blend it again. Okay, now I do like the color of the blush against my skin tone. And like I said, the formula is nice and balmy. And I just think that it just needs more building up. If you're looking for something super high in pigment that you can just put on once and go, it's not gonna be this blush. But if you are okay with building it up and really kind of taking your time or you have the time to take, I think this is fun. But for the packaging alone, if you're a collector again, this is really cute and then even when you're done with this blush, how this is this just be cute as a, a sticky note holder, you know, where you can a sticky note weight or 
putting it on your arm, desk, or a bookshelf. I just think that this is really good and recyclable, and it's super cute. Like, let's sit it on top of something and see how cute that looks. Like, come on. That's adorable. Let's just put it on the Harry Potter thing. Freaking cute. <laughs> so, um, they kicked ass with the packaging, and the blush is all right. Like, if you're gonna get this full collection, and you're not in it for the packaging, could you skip the blush? You could, but it's still pretty nonetheless. Just needs some building. So, yes, I know that my face is now starting to kind of shine up on y'all. I've been sitting under these highlights, but um, I'm just going to wrap this up and say I really, really, really enjoyed my first impression with She Glam. And whoever is on you guys' packaging team, branding, and art, whoever is behind that, y'all need to go ahead and just give them two months vacation and a raise. And just, just after that, you need to lock them up and put them in a creativity room because whatever team is responsible for that has definitely took that shit and crashed through the glass ceiling. 100% wonderful. Um, I'm very satisfied customer right now. This was, this is money well spent. And I think in general, I don't even know. I didn't even spend a hundred dollars on all of this. If I'm not mistaken, let me look at my email just to be sure. So it is worth it for me. She glam. Let's take a peek. Order confirmed. No, I spent, and just in case you don't believe me, because I don't want anybody to think I would tell you something that is not true, I spent all together for all of these products $73.71. That's it. That's amazing. That is great for all of this makeup that I just got. That's a really good deal. And yeah. I think it's pocket friendly. Um, I was just personally curious who created She Glam to see who did it. Okay, Sylvia Fu is this person's name. It's the founder and CEO of She Glam, a luxury brand beauty that's a luxury beauty brand brand that sells makeup at affordable prices. Fu previously worked as an assistant to Chris Zhu or you, the founder and CEO, okay, of Xi'an, and came up with the idea for Xi Glam shortly after leaving the company. Fu says that Xi Glam's philosophy is to provide great, a great experience for beauty lovers around the world and that consumers are the brand's most valuable source of information. Well, even just this alone makes sense as to why she would deliver packaging in a way that only people who are lucky enough to receive uh, PR would. Um, Sylvia, you did that thing. It also makes sense now as to why um, the delivery was an Asian thing. So, um, wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I can say. Great work. Great work. Um, I am looking forward to trying more things. Just simply put, um, right now y'all have a y'all have a customer for life. If you keep it at this, um, I got you. I so far haven't heard any bad thing about um she glam. Uh but yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm very excited about this. I can't wait to try new things and that's all. Thank you so much for hanging out um, with me and trying out this new um, makeup for me, new makeup. And yes, I hope you do enjoy this video. If you are into reviews, I am. I um, prefer long form content. I say that all the time when I get on these videos. I'm a long form content girly. I prefer it. I know the work that goes into it and the time and editing and putting yourself out there to do it. Um, I missed doing makeup reviews and try on. So my little heart is full. I'm going to go to sleep in the best mood. And yeah, I'm going to find a way to cut this down, but I'm also going to let it be what it is and be as 
fun as it was for me to film it. So if it is for you, I know that you will watch it. And if it is not, and you want to watch parts of it, that's okay because I'll put timestamps there for you as well. Thank you so much again. If you're into this kind of content, reviews, pause, um, get ready with me, uh, makeup vlogs, all that kind of stuff, subscription stuff. This is going to be the channel that you might want to consider subscribing to. Um, and if you are into just straight up vlogs, day in my life, lifestyle, those kind of bits and deals, very raw, unapologetic kind of vlogging, or you are like me, I like to see people just live their life and do everyday Monday things, then you're going to want to follow my second channel, which is strictly just vlogs, and it is called Michael's Mind. I will see you all on the next one. I'm going to go wash my face and I'm super hype about this makeup because I got me some of this stuff. So, bye.